everybody. I wanted to just check in with you guys and introduce you to my friend Nikki. This is Nikki Williamson. She is Nikki Loves Hair and Health on Instagram. Um, but we're following along together doing this Bible study, Courageous Influence. And I have it on the, she's I got have it on her it, iPad, have, super so official. <laughs> Yeah, and if you want to purchase the book and follow along, feel free. If not, we're going to try and do these check-ins and just kind of share what God is showing and revealing um, through this Bible study. I have done, I've, I've always done a devotion, um, but one thing about this particular Bible study is that it's kind of in depth, and I don't know, maybe some of you that have purchased the book, didn't realize that it's about 30 minutes. How long yeah. does it take you? 30, 30, 30, 30 45. 45. It depends on how deep you want to go, guys. Um, but, you know, there's some question and answers, and there's verses. So it, it's a little more in-depth. And I think for the season of life that I'm in, it's been really good. Very good. Uh, so Nikki and I were sharing with each other the other day just a few things that had just kind of jumped off the pages at us. And then we realized that so many nuggets were in day one. <laughs> <laughs> the first day. <laughs> the first day. We're on week two now. Um, and we've all kind of grabbed some different things out of different days. But I think that one thing that's so cool about this is in the very beginning, it's kind of talking about not our thoughts, but like some hangups. Um, our hangups. Yeah. Cause it says right here on day one, instead of being whole, we become fractured. Instead of being the light of the world, become dim. We put it back on us, but we got to get in God's word. So to be the salt of the earth, the scripture that you, yeah, you like, yeah. I love mm -hmm. that part about that. Instead of being whole, we become fractured. Um, and I think that so many women deal with like body shaming yes. and um, problems with confidence about different different things, whether it's you know your brain or your body. I think body is such a uh, big thing. Such a big thing. <laughs> Nikki is a hairstylist, and tell us People a little bit about deal with that. Every day they come in my chair and they're like, "Oh my God, put the cape on me! I, I have this problem. Look at my cheeks!" Like. And I deal with that, the same thing. I've and been we, guilty. Even today, I was like, I'm going to make sure my makeup looks okay and my hair looks good. And I feel like there's so much Your pressure. Your hair looks great. Oh, thanks. Your makeup looks great. <laughs> um, I feel like there's so much pressure on us to be perfect, yeah. but we're not meant to be. So the study has been really good to see that God is that person to help us, but yet he makes us whole. Yeah. Nothing we can do. But I think a lot of women, you compare yourself. Right. to everybody and we need to learn to be happy with ourselves yeah that's you know? so good and this kind of made me have to really delve into okay what are my hang-ups what is holding me back right. because sometimes I think that we have these things in our life and we don't even no because I'm always I always feel like oh I'm good I, I got everything and then yeah. this morning I was like is my makeup okay is my hair good I'm like, why am I even questioning myself and I thought I was fine <laughs> you look good girl <laughs> <laughs> and but yet we do that. Yeah. We go to the pool and we yeah. You know we just do. I have four butts. Right. Is my mm -hmm. you know cleavage too saggy? Whatever. <laughs> um, it, yeah. I don't have that problem. <laughs> <laughs> um. But yeah, this so it kind of like gets all that out in the very beginning of this, so that then we can kind of like heal and move on and realize yeah. what our purpose mm -hmm. is. Because I feel like so many times. Um, we can't do, we hold ourselves back from doing what God's called us to do because we feel unworthy or, you know, disqualified. We I know feel, that I disqualify yeah. myself. We feel less than, but yeah. we're not. Yeah. yeah. And so this verse that, um, that we were just talking about, where was it? Oh, okay. That it is from Matthew, uh, 5, 13 through 16, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll read the whole thing. Okay. Okay. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt should lose its taste, how can it be made salty? It's no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled under people's feet. And this is the part that I love. You are the light of the world. A city situated on a hill cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp and puts it under a basket, but rather on a lampstand. And I think that when I see that, I see, you know, God saying, 
you're a light and I want to put you on a hill for everybody to see no matter what size you are no matter what color you are no matter how much school you had or what your profession is and I think that as women we just all need to grab hold of that truth yeah that we are all called to yes. to 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 be a light and to be an influence no matter you know who we are well no matter your insecurities yes. even if you've made mistakes or you've done That's stuff right. wrong it doesn't matter god has called us yeah. to be a lamp and to be a light a lamp a light a lamp and a light <laughs> you're and, called uh, to be in both i think even not just women i mean everyone but i feel like women are sometimes we struggle with it because we feel like let's take care of everybody let's do the family mm -hmm. let's you know and god has called us to be a light and to share that light and there was something on here that i really liked that i just read in here on day one, we were made to shine, to have our own God, uh, have our own good works bring glory to God. We were made to have influence, to have an effect on those around us and on the world because we have been made new in Christ. I so love that. everything we're made new. It's mm -hmm. so funny to see um, there's a few of us that are doing this um, together and with those of you online. And so everybody is like getting different things yeah. out of it and it's so funny because nikki walked in today and she was like oh i love this this part and i'm like i don't even remember that that didn't <laughs> jump off the page at me right. and it doesn't mean that it wasn't good it was just i feel like you know god is showing what you need for you right. and what i need for me mm -hmm. and what you need for you yeah. and you know it's just awesome how he does that because the the part that goes along with what nikki was just saying um from from the same uh, entry is we are meant to be seen to be fully who we were made to be because God desires to show himself to the world through our whole selves wow. and I think that's what we've got to grab mm -hmm. hold of is that we are whole no matter what hang-ups yeah. we have about ourselves and so at the end of this you know it asks questions and um, one question that, that it asked is, what are some labels that you've put on yourself, your body, your mind, and even your spiritual life? Um, what parts have you deemed bad, valuable, or useless? And so, you know, I really had to think about what, what things I have disqualified myself for, uh, with. And then there was another part that, um, ask you to share like when you have felt that you know devalued and it made me think about how many times and I'm sure you probably have experienced this too how many times have I walked into a room full of people and immediately felt like oh my gosh I, I don't feel like I fit in or okay. I don't feel like yeah. I am dressed right or yeah. you know how am I going to carry on a conversation with these people we have nothing in common you know but you walk into a room full of women and immediately those are the kind of thoughts that yeah. come to mind and why do we but do we we're do all that? thinking the same thing right <laughs> so it's like why are we doing that I mean I yeah totally understand it's true yeah. and it um one time in my life that I know this happened to me you know there's been lots but one time that I just remember specifically is years ago um I was in a national pageant I was married I had kids and when I did the state pageant I felt so you were there yeah mm -hmm. I felt so confident about that because it was a much smaller scale and I knew that God had put me in this place and I, you know, I, I, I did the thing. But then when I got to nationals, I went to Vegas and suddenly I was there with, you know, 50 other women who were amazing in yes. every way. You know, some of them were doctors and attorneys and they'd written books and they had platforms. And I was literally a 25 year old mom. Like that was the extent of my accomplishment in life. And of course now I realize that God had me there for a reason and you know it wasn't my time to hold a national <laughs> title um, but you know I, where I was at in life was important and yes. I think that's one thing Nikki was saying it doesn't matter what right it doesn't matter where right. we are no if you're a mom be a mom right it's crazy if you're a wife be you know God creates you for that yeah, <clears throat> for sure and, and I think we devalue 
certain things and we don't need to. God has created you to be an influencer no matter where it's, where it is. And I just, I love this. I, I love great. it. I love it. If you are following along mm -hmm. in the book or if you're not following along in the book, you can check in on my Facebook page, Find Your Confidence, because we are all finding our confidence. Yes. I think every single day we're finding our confidence, but we're finding it in Christ. And I think that is the ingredient that a lot of people leave out. Yeah. And learning to just be okay with not being okay. That's right. Sometimes you... I misplaced my keys 20 times a day, and that's okay. <laughs> no, right. Be okay with your imperfections, yes. whether they're physical, spiritual, whatever. Yeah. Be okay with your imperfections, and that is when God can use us the most because I'm here to tell you there are so many things in life that I have had to do that I did not feel qualified no, no. to do. Yes, I agree. But I think in my stupidity, sometimes <laughs> God can use me the most because I'm like, okay, I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what to do. You're just going to have to leave yes, me and guide me. But he yeah. uses you for sure. So thank you guys for joining us. And I hope that you will check in with us again and follow Nikki Loves Hair and yeah. Health on Instagram. She um, always has funny and encouraging things to share. So before we go, I want to just say a quick prayer okay. um, for everybody following along. Yeah, Father, we just thank you for this time together. And I thank you, Lord, for Nikki being here with me today. And Lord, for us just being able to get together and, and have coffee and chat about what you're wanting us to um, focus on during this season. And I just thank you that you will continue to reveal yourself to each and every one of us, reveal yourself through your word. I thank you that you give us ears to hear. And Father, that when we hear, we will be obedient to your commands. And I thank you, Father, for the importance of every woman. And Father, that we would focus on those things that are important to you and not our own hangups. And we just thank you for these things. I thank you for an awesome week for each and every person. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.